Hi guys, this is a video I'm going to put in with all of the resources for assignment one. Never underestimate the importance of folder management in a project the size of the one you're about to begin because it saves you getting lost. I'm going to show you a video now, I know you've seen it before, and then I'm going to show you the folder management that was used to create that video. Probably heard everyone say that DVD renting is dead. Not true. The mistake people made was trying to be something they weren't. I mean, if I wanted a tan, I'd go to Turkey. <laughs> Here at Extra Vision, we make entertainment, not lifestyle. <laughs> so, if you want to rent a movie, play the latest games, go online, buy music, or get the latest gadgetry, then you know where to go. Okay, straightforward enough. Well, as regards what I'm trying to um, talk about. Now, have a look at this. This is the folder management that I used to create that project, right? So I had a folder for pretty much every different type of resource or asset that I had. So I had one for background images. Um, when we were producing that, we had to print, put it into a DVD cover and print off a disc and do all of that. You won't have to do that. I had all my logos downloaded and ready to go. I have my presenter images. Now, most of these are actually in um, Photoshop format, so I won't bother opening them here. They're, they're basically the cartoon head images. I had all of the room parts separated and clearly named so I could import them into animate as, on separate layers. I had all of my sound effects that I used throughout the whole thing and I had them all named door slam one, two, three, four. So they're all in there. Um, we had to produce a storyboard for this as you will and I used the um, original images before I was building it. So I, we had to submit this before we made the animation. So I just used all of the images that I'd already um, collated and put together. Um, they are all of the images that turn up inside the TV and you'll see they're all exactly the same size. Now obviously they wouldn't have been in the beginning. I brought them all into a standard format um, file in Photoshop and I resized them so they'd all be the same. So when I brought them into Animate, I wouldn't have to resize them in there because it's not great for that. There's some pictures of televisions. I eventually settled on one. And there's a folder with all of the voices in the individual pieces. Um, listen. Hey there. So what I did was I cut all the voices the out. people made was trying to be something they weren't. Okay. Bam. Now, but look at that. This is what you need to do for your project, right? Now, what I've done is I've made it a little bit simpler for you. I've actually made a folder that I can show you what your one should look like. So if I go in here, you should have something for characters, right? Now watch this. You should have something for characters. You should have something for images and in images you should have something for your background images like so you should have something for your content images and something for your objects you should have your sounds but those sounds should be music voice recordings and sound effects you should have something for your storyboard something for your text something for your videos and then for your written piece so that actual animation project folder should contain everything that you need if you have to put an extra folder in, by all means make one. But the idea is that you're always going back to the same folder. Do not begin this by randomly placing bits onto your desktop or into spurious folders and some on your memory stick or some here because it's going to get out of control very, very quickly. Most of the resources you'll collect you may not use and you need to make sure that all of the correct resources, all of the assets are in appropriate folders. So even if you get images for 19 characters, put them all in the same place. If you only use one, that's fine. But if you decide towards the end of the project to swap the character out, it's easy enough to do if you know where to find all of the other ones. So I can't stress that enough. So make sure when you're doing this, that you use something like this. Now I've already created all of these folders for you. I can put them up on the server so you can have them, but you may be better off naming them yourself so that you know, um, so they're all basically following your kind of train of thought, your logic, okay? Any questions on this, let me know as usual.